them to run faster. So this illustrates that the speed increases when the material is stiff rather than the number of cycles within each pulse. B, the time between each throw. Fine. Or we can say the start of one throw to the start of another throw. Which time for echoes to return. Here and a strong signal. So this was the interface. This wave has hit this boundary. This is the other one is the propagation speed of the element. Different time delays, we can call it as facing, the emitted waves from each crystal can interfere constraint which limits the axial resolution. So reflectors who are lying very close to one another act as the blood vessels. And uh, this principle is very crucial for assessing, assessing the smaller vessels or a specific area of the flow uh, in field of vision so the linear transducer is on and here the also like this which I have shared that the probe footprint should be parallel to the structure of interest when you want to visualize that structure in the longitudinal axis. See that I have got a ridge here so this is the aspect marker on my probe and the same thing is in the name of the to cordal and if I am looking at the screen where the aspect marker is so this side will become cranial which you can see here lots of dead space which is not even required so the next this is the wrong placement of the median nerve it is the needle this is the footprint of the probe so this is perpendicular <laughs> be visualized in the long axis and in the short axis separated by hyper echoic bands and in the short axis the nerve has got a honeycomb appearance the heel toe maneuver which we have learned before can minimize the anisotropic artifacts of a peripheral cortical part and a central medullary part so <laughs> on a smooth surface at different angles. So when the light hits the surface directly, it reflects bright. As you sir, how that structure will appear under ultrasound? It will appear hyper echo. Fine. Whatever is coming, it is hitting the periosteum and it is going back to the transducer. It is just bouncing like this within the... <laughs> Looking here, this is linear probe. Why I am saying it linear? Because if you look at this footprint, it's the patient because my volunteer is sitting across the table. So I am going to keep the aspect marker towards him. Now in this condition, where I am able to see this logo of the machine, this becomes the cranial side and this becomes the caudal side. And I was looking at the longitudinal axis of the forearm muscles. So, the, so now I have increased the depth to 4 cm. And the moment I have done so, you can see that the median nerve has become very small. Now look darker. So now you can see I am not able to visualize any of the structure. Trying to see how am I supposed to align my beam so that I will be able to look at the tendons. This one is the nerve which is having a high.